Last month I showed you my morning skincare routine, so today I'm going to show you what I do in the evening. My skin type is very oily in my T-zone, but underneath my eyes and on the top of my cheeks it can get pretty dry. I also struggle with acne and have a fairly sensitive skin, but before I can get started with anything else, the first thing I have to do is remove my makeup. And to do that, I use one of my favorite products, definitely one of my favorite product discoveries from the entire year, and that is the Elizabeth Den for One Love Organics Vitamin B Enzyme Cleansing Oil. This is a very luxurious oil. It smells amazing like the tropics. And I start with dry hands on my dry face and work the oil around. And this begins to effortlessly dissolve my makeup. And one of my favorite things about my evening skincare routine is removing my eyebrow makeup. It feels so good to get that eyebrow gel off. So I will take the oil, work it through my eyebrows, I also like to take a little bit and apply it onto my lid and lashes and begin to remove some of that eye makeup. And I love that this oil never irritates my eyes. Once I've spread the oil around, I will add some warm water into my hands and mix it with the oil, and this creates a milky texture. And this oil contains a fruit enzyme that helps to exfoliate and soften the skin, and my skin does feel really nice once I rinse this off. the amount of makeup I wore that day I will sometimes double cleanse and when I do that I use this facial cleansing cream from a cure this cleanser has some amazing ingredients including olive oil argan oil and cocoa butter it's one of my favorite mild cleansers Most of my eye makeup is gone, but if I have anything left over, I will take a cotton square and a tiny bit of the Andalou Naturals Lash and Lid Makeup Remover. This comes in a lotion form and I will apply it right onto the cotton square, then hold it over my eye and gently wipe down. And this does a fantastic job at getting rid of any residual mascara and it also helps to lightly condition my lashes and eye area. Step two is exfoliation, and I use a liquid exfoliant from Paula's Choice called their Resist Daily Pore Refining Treatment 2% BHA. This is a water-like formula that is made specifically for people with both acne and wrinkle concerns. The ingredients include salicylic acid and antioxidants to help clear out and diminish the appearance of pores while stimulating collagen production for firmer skin. Once a week, I will swap this product for the Paula's Choice Resist Weekly Resurfacing Treatment with 10% AHA. This is a glycolic acid that helps to resurface my skin, and when I wake up the next day, my skin feels incredibly soft and smooth. Step number three is moisturize. And lately I've been alternating between the Organic Bath Company Enhanced Face Oil, which is an oil blend that includes watermelon seed oil, rosehip oil, and passion fruit oil to nourish the skin and help prevent breakouts. I've also been using the Angelou Naturals Turmeric Plus C Enlightened Serum. This is an oil-based serum that is full of skin protecting antioxidants and it is lightly scented with orange oil, which makes it very pleasant to apply. For this step, there are a couple other products I enjoy, including Acura's Argan Oil and Pi's Bioregenerate Rosehip Oil. And shortly, Paula's Choice is going to be releasing an Argan Oil blend, so I'm going to start testing that out. To moisturize under my eyes, I use another Elizabeth Den for One Love Organics product. This is their Vitamin E Eye Balm. It is a waterless balm that turns into an oil when rubbed between my fingers. The pomegranate and ginseng help to provide a lot of hydration underneath my eyes while the organic fennel helps to reduce puffiness. Lastly, I apply my nighttime moisturizer. I'm using the Paula's Choice Resist Anti-Aging Clear Skin Hydrator. And I have been purchasing this since it was first released. I actually think they've recently updated the packaging a little bit. This is a lightweight gel moisturizer that beautifully hydrates the skin and it also helps to brighten any red marks left over from blemishes. 
So that wraps up my evening routine. Now I've shared my morning routine, my evening routine, and my favorite face mask. I hope you have found these videos helpful. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week with a new video. Thank you.